We have questions? Let's do it. Hi, I'm Melanie Scrifano, and normally I'm an actor, but today I'm answering questions via playing card. It's a gamble. Totally normal. What would the title of the audiobook about your life be called? Who would voice you? The title of my audiobook would be called Half Finished. It would be voiced by David Attenborough, and it would be just a bunch of unfinished sentences. <laughs> if you could play any other character on Winona Earp for a day, who would it be and why? Any other character. I think I would play Waverly because I was never a good student, see previous answer about half finished things, but Waverly is so smart and she's so bookish and I always wanted to be that smart and dedicated to something and I think it would be a lot of fun to play the person with some solutions for once. Oh, thank you. What is the strangest thing you've been asked to do for a role? How about the most challenging? The most challenging thing I've ever had to do was uh, learn to ride a motorcycle on Winona Earp. She drove a motorcycle because she was notoriously scared of horses. I did the class and I just barely passed. And then um, I, I did the motorcycle stuff and then I let my motorcycle license lapse. And now I'm not the cool mom anymore. I'm just a mom with a car. I once was covered head to toe in lube for a non-fun activity. We just had to look really sticky and shiny and and like a bunch of eggs had exploded on us. And so um, they, they covered us in lube. We were super soft after. Oh. What's your favorite word or expression? We're gonna get in so much trouble here. My husband loves saying right arm. <laughs> I don't know if that's just a construction worker thing, but he really wants to make a thing of it. So I'm gonna try to help him and say that my favorite expression is right arm instead of right on. It takes a second. My favorite word or expression in French, putain de merde, is like horse shit. It's so good. In Italian, my nonna always used to say, um, a tesoro de la nonna, which is my, my little treasure. Purgatorian. You scissored a stripper? That's pretty fun. Also Dollywood, which is um, our sex code. Merci is French for thank you. If you can invent a new holiday, and we don't mean doc holiday, you beat me to it. What would it be called and how would people celebrate it? It would be called International introvert day. And on this day, nobody has to talk to anyone else on the street. You don't have to say hi to your neighbors. If you're both walking the dog, I would pay for this day to be a thing. My favorite people are the people you could just sit with and be like, can we just sit and not talk? And they're like, oh yeah. And then you're just quietly staring. Oh, it's heaven. Hmm. Thank you, by the way. Think back to the characters you've portrayed in your career. How are you most like them or different? Wow. I think um, the one I felt most similar to is Winona, Winona Earp. She's just the, the parts of me that I release to the wild with an excuse through this character. Like, if I could be totally myself at all times, that's who I'd be. I'm the least like Emily in Ready or Not because she lives a wacky lifestyle and I am very not like that. I like my kids to survive um, game night. <laughs> great nails. After playing Wyatt Earp's great granddaughter, what historical figure are you dying to play? I'll tell you. Her name is Aloha Wanderwell. She was this Canadian, she was basically the Amelia Earhart of cars. She drove a classic car around the world at a time when that was not easy and there were not gas stations at every corner. So she was the, she, you know, and she had to fix her own car. She had to get really creative and maybe she murdered her husband. We don't know, but I've decided that maybe she has. That was in the 1920s. I would love to play her. Give yourself a hand. Nice, well done. In Winona Earp, the Earp family gun is called Peacemaker. 
what objects have you named in your life that you can talk about on camera? Um, we named our house after the person who died in it. Because <laughs> we were like, I think she's here. I think we don't want to feel like we don't want her to feel like we're taking her space. Like, I'm very territorial. You can bet if I die in my house, I'm haunting whoever's in it next. So I was like, I think if we name it after her, we're good. And so far, we've been good. Listen to Winona Earp, Tales from Purgatory, now on Audible. Say goodbye.